G'day, it's Mark here at Vanessa Mobile Camping. We're presently at the factory in Germany. It's extremely hot here today. Uh, we've had this week temperatures at 38 degrees, so the Germans are definitely enjoying the, the weather at the moment, uh, feeling like it is Australia. And we're going to take a look at this California beach, and it has our brand new Arco system in here. Let's take a look. So the way we have presently configured this particular Arco system is in its core configuration. It's designed the Arco system such that we can load long objects through the vehicle. And in this particular configuration, which is our basis configuration, uh, we have a, a, a kitchen system with a single bed. Let's take a closer look. The kitchen system is on our, on our heavy duty slide out system. So the heavy duty slide out system uh, we had originally developed for the Amarok is now available for the multivan in the correct length. And this heavy duty slide out system can hold 250 kilograms, although that wasn't quite 250 kilograms just then when I, when I stood on that. We have uh, a great kitchen system here with our utensil drawer, storage drawers for uh, pots, pans, cups and so on. A large drawer here for more plates. We have our, uh, our plates here, our pots, coffee maker, and down here we have our, our single burner cooker. Up here we have our regular sink system, which, uh, which um, has a water supply just behind here. And then we have here our Dometic Waco CFX28 uh, fridge giving us uh, a generous uh, fridge, fridge space. So that's the heavy duty slide out system with the Arco kitchen system. And it just requires one hand to move. So we just put that in with one hand and that will lock into place. Slider systems we've seen in the past often require two hands to operate. This is uniquely developed by Vanessa and it's very, very easy, very, very easy to operate and to lock into place. So even if we're on a little bit of a slope, this will stay locked into place at all times. And then just simply to release and put back in. Let's now have a look at the bed system. Come with me. So in this particular vehicle, we've got it configured as a three-seat vehicle with the interior module. So the interior module we've seen in some of the other videos, I won't go through that now. But we have configured it such that the passenger seat is swiveling and we have our single seat here uh, no other seat there so we can load long objects. If we didn't have the interior module, we'd also be able to load even longer objects in. And we'll see some interesting solutions in a minute to do with even loading even longer objects. But first of all, what I will do here is I will fold this over and then pull out the bed extension. The bed extension comes over. mattress comes over and now we have uh, a single bed inside the vehicle. So this is ideal when we're considering having perhaps our bikes inside the, um, inside the van. So our, our mountain bikes, our road bikes inside the van and, and then having a single bed here. Let's take a look in a moment at how to expand that now to a double bed. We've now built the single bed with the Arco system. Let's take a look at how we now create the double bed expansion. There are two pieces, the core piece that attaches to the Arco kitchen system and the extension for the bed extension. So our core piece has the hangers on the end for the bed extension, which will go towards the front and we'll lift it in. The support is down and we attach it simply to the Arco. Make sure this is standing upright and that's now installed. We'll take the extension piece, and this will go forward, and lock into place at the end there. And then when we're inside the vehicle, we can now extend to a double bed. I'll grab our mattress. So the mattress will pop onto here. Ready to go. 
let's go and have a look inside the van now. So from inside the van, we're now going to make the bed extension, just so that we can see that a little easier. I'll put this mattress back so we can see that a little bit easier. This will pull forward, just the same as we've done the other one. Let the leg out and let that lock. That's now locked into place. And we can bring out, well, bring it out on this side first. There's our mattress there. That's the original mattress back out. And now we have the full double bed system with the Arco. We've built the double bed system now. And we have a pretty extraordinarily large uh, loading area. And what we sometimes find helpful is to have some boxes like these, the lightweight aluminium uh, storage boxes, plenty of room, and we can actually pop these easily into the. Now, of course, these ones are empty, so it goes a little bit easier. But for example, we've loaded two really large boxes in there and still plenty of room for longer, thinner objects. You might have your fishing rods or other ice skis, perhaps uh, also going into there. That was fairly easy to put these boxes in here, lots of room, but there's an even easier way to do it with our heavy duty slide outs up to 250 kilograms. Let's go and do that now. Okay, we've got our tunnel expansion and the tunnel will go in on to, in this case, the right hand side. We have a look at the back here on the tunnel. We have our, our uh, fixing opportunities here to go onto the rail system. So if it's built onto uh, one side, we'll use these two and on the other side, we'll use these two uh, for fixing. And to fix into the uh, vehicle, we'll be using our regular T-bolt that we've commonly used in our rear kitchens. And because it's a little bit tight just here, next to the mechanism, we're going to use the same T-bolt with just with something a little bit different on the top. Here we'll use our 10 millimeter spanner just to tighten that up. So let's go and load this into the vehicle now. And to fi finish the installation of the second bed with the tunnel, we simply use the same bed extension that we used for the non-tunnel based bed extension. Pop that in, drop the legs, lock on, make sure the leg is vertical, mattress over. And we now have the tunnel installed with the heavy duty slide out and the mattress. So now we have tunnel installed, single bed set up on this double bed expansion side. We can uh, sit in the van, have a conversation. We've got our interior module. We can put our table out, have a meal in here if we wish to. 
and then we can quickly make the full double bed. So I'll pull the bed extension out, let the leg drop down and attach. And pull the mattress out and we now have the double bed set up. You'll remember when we had the double bed expansion without the slide out, we had to lift the box in and push it in and then pull it back out again. And sometimes these boxes can be a little bit heavy uh, when you fill them for camping. So now we have the heavy duty slide out, simply pull it out with one hand and lift the box onto the slide out and then with one hand simply slide back in and locks. We wish to serve from the box. So if we pull this out, we can see how heavy duty these boxes are. They can hold the entire weight of me plus what's in the box. It's up to 250 kilos and we can easily open the box and close the box again. Doesn't get any easier than that. We have also thought that for some of the longer trips, rather than having a box on this particular slider, we could potentially have a larger fridge. So we asked Dominic to kindly supply us a 50 litre fridge and put this onto the slider. So it's often a requirement to have a larger fridge with a little bit more capacity when we do a very long trip into the outback. And this 50 litre fridge gives us that capacity and the new Vanessa's Arco system slider has that capacity. We have our controls here. We can open up from this side so it makes it very convenient to serve in and out of this particular fridge. And very easy with the heavy duty slider as we've seen before. It's extremely stable. Sometimes the fridges can get quite heavy, and so this is a really, really good solution. We've now installed the 50 litre fridge, put a few drinks in there, and of course it is even heavier. So again, the heavy duty slide out is really, really ideal for such a large fridge. It opens up from the side, we can easily set the temperatures and so on at the front, and start to load the fridge up with some of our favourite drinks, such as these drinks from Muxelheim here from, from just around the regional beers, or just around the corner. and it in closes extremely easily. In this configuration with the 50 litre fridge, we'd have to ask why is the 28 litre fridge still there? Well, we may be using for our long trips the 50 litre fridge as a course of fridge and then our 28 litre as a freezer. So we have now both possibilities, so a freezer and a fridge. And when we put the fridge to the front of the uh, slide out, we still have full access to the cooker so we can be cooking, slide this in and out to this point here and the 50 litre fridge can still be opened clearing the tunnel. So this is actually quite a good configuration, we can close this back up again and then have full access to our drawers as we're cooking here. So this is a really good configuration. We've just reconfigured the system for the left hand side for the kitchen, which is how we imagine it will be most likely used in Australia, behind the passenger seat. So with the single seat and the passenger seat facing each other with a seat swivel. And we have now turned the kitchen around so it's on the left side. And we have the very large fridge, CFX Dometic CFX 95, with uh, two cabinets. We have that now easily accessible from this side. So that's really ideal now that we can actually serve from these fridges from this side. I can still see the temperature settings here for both compartments and have full access, full access to the kitchen at all times. So this is the configuration we'll most likely see in Australia.